Well-being is what makes people thrive on Earth. But what exactly is well-being? How can it be measured? Is well-being progressing? Well-being has traditionally been measured by GDP per capita as there's a strong correlation between them. Thanks to the project Madison, we know how the GDP per capita evolved over the past 2000 years. This graph shows slow progress until the Industrial Revolution, since which we have experienced an explosive growth. This is reflected by an increase in life expectancy, which has almost doubled in Belgium in the past 140 years. Despite the qualities of the GDP, it misses several essential parts of well-being. Examples including the repetition of wealth in a country, um, the quality of the environment or mental health. This is where additional indicators are being developed. Let us look at the framework of the European Commission and Eurostat. The Social Progress Index consists of 12 different indicators grouped in three areas. First, the basic human needs. The second group represents the foundations of well-being and the third and last group is called Opportunity. But the framework only published results in 2016 and 2020 and doesn't take into account major recent events. In particular, events like the COVID-19 pandemic, war in Ukraine, inflation and other recent geopolitical tensions which all weighed negatively on well-being. For example, the excess mortality rate has not been below zero since March of 2020. However, certain aspects of our life have improved for example, the possibilities for remote working and better work-life balance. Looking forward, well-being should be the ultimate objective of the human race, as it is the measurement of human progress. It enables individuals and societies to be resilient in the face of adversity, build capacity for action and transcend challenges. We look forward to a future with confidence our capacity to reinvent our way of living will continue to improve the well-being of people, animals and the planet.